hey guys welcome it's your girl you already know who it is it's your girl i'm back i'm back i'm back and today 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 i'm about to make a shirt what better way to promote what you're doing if you don't do it yourself so in today's video i'm going to show you how to promote your own self your own business your own channel whatever it is that you're doing so before we get into this video i'm gonna need y'all to make sure you're subscribed to the channel hit that bell hit the all for the all notifications so that way every time i upload a video i drop the video you will be notified and like i tell you your girl is coming you'll just work with your girl you'll just stick with your girl your girl is coming everything i learn i always tell you i bring it to the table so like i said today we're just going to work on a pattern. I'm going to show you all. We're going to work on a pattern. Like I said, if you're doing YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, whatever it is you're doing, you got your business, your website, whatever it is, you, you can't expect people to promote it for you. So you have to do it yourself. So we're going to make a shirt today. Even though I have other shirts, but we're going to make one that we're going to promote. We're not going to just only promote the YouTube because the YouTube is not just what I'm, I'm, I'm here for. I have a business, so I'm going to promote um, my business. I'm going to promote my, um, I'm going to put on the, 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 the sites that, that I get like my high, like a lot of my high views. So which would be. Instagram, I get a lot of traffic on Instagram and I get a lot of traffic on Snapchat. My Snapchat is always on fire. Yo, if y'all ain't, I mean, you got TikTok, you got um, Facebook, you got other things. But whatever that works for you, you rock with it. And my Snapchat, I'm always like every other day, I'm always getting the um thing from them telling me, oh, your snap is on fire. And this is literally, I'm going to show you all the picture. I think I did a video before showing it, but I'm going to show you. It literally gives, send, you, send you the message and the message have like the little, it says your snap is on fire. You have like the fire flame with the light showing you your snap. Then it shows you the thing. It says this snap got over 300. This snap got, and a lot of my things is like over a K. Like a K view, like 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 one K, three K, you know things like that. So it it been it been rocking with me. It been doing me really um a good. It been doing me good. What am I saying? Ah, it's really been doing good for me, guys. It really been doing good for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ah ah I'm gonna add that in there too. So I'm gonna um. The front, I'm, 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 I'm going to freestyle the front. I don't know if I'm going to do the, the, the face. The, um, I think I'm going to put my picture with my name and everything on the front. And then on the back, I think I'm going to do the the um, YouTube, the Instagram, the Snapchat, or whatever. I don't know which one I want to put, the ones I want to put on with the name. We're we going we, we gonna to figure it out, guys. So, you'll just stay with your girl. You'll rock with me. And we're going to head over to the computer. And um, and we're going to take it from there. So, yeah. Like I said, you always got to promote yourself. La La Creation. Made by me. My YouTube channel. And I did have the um, my QR code. Coffee and glitter. I did have the um small business babe. I did have the QR code, but when I when I first did it, it was working. Then before I went to press um put it on, I tried it and it was not working. I didn't feel like going back and all that, so I just um covered it up. That's why I think one of these pictures is here. I just covered it up. Like, but we're not going there. Mm. So. Let's not beat around the boys. We're going to get and get into it because I don't want this video to be too long. All right, guys. So let's get into it. All right, 
right, guys, we back, we back, we back. This is take number three. I'm trying to get this out for y'all, guys. So here we in designer space, as I showed you. I'm looking for this logo with the social media symbol. Here it go. So I'm going to click on that, and then we're going to head on to designer space, the main page. So we have the picture that I'm going to use, and we have the logo in the back. So I'm going to take away the um logos for now because we're going to work on the picture. And on the picture, what we're going to do is a feature that's called slice. And what I'm doing, I'm just bringing it down a little bit enough so we can slice off the top. So I come in, I'm going to grab a square. These are your different shapes and design the space. As you see over here on the side, you have different um, wordings, and each one is for different things. So we're going into the one for, that says shape, and, and we're there. I got a square shape. I'm going to unlock it, and, and then I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to um, size it up. I'm going to bring it over it, highlight the whole thing, and I'm going to hit slice. And once it goes away and comes back, it slices as you see. So now we're getting rid of the pieces. That, I'm just going to put it to the side. We might need it later. We don't know. So now I'm going to bring the picture, just size the picture back up. I'm going to bring it to the largest that I can. Designer space only give you a certain amount. And you basically only um, print in 8 by 5. 8, 8 by 5 by 11 something. Whatever. So we did that. So now I'm going to slice the picture in half. And when you do a slice, just keep in mind, when you slice the picture, you kind of want to slice in the area so you can, kind of easy to, when you put it, um, put it back together. Because remember when you slice in, you, you actually, after you put it out, you actually have to make sure you line it back up so it looks like one whole picture again. So you want to kind of slice it in the area where you can kind of just put it back in one picture. You don't have to slice in the middle. You can slice it. I just felt like that was comfortable right there. And so what I so now what I did was is slice. So each piece I'm making a certain size. So that way when I print it out, I got it. Each one is an eight by five. Yeah, you got. It. So we're gonna repeat the same stuff with the symbol. I I need the Facebook symbol, the Instagram, and the YouTube. The Twitter, I don't use. We're not going to use that because I barely use my um Twitter account like that. Even though I still have it. So when I post on Instagram, most of the time it goes straight over to my, um it goes to the Twitter page as well. So as you see, I'm slicing them all down because I need the three. And guys, I'm so, so sorry. Um that what happened was um as you see i got the three in order and then i wanted to show y'all how i do the text um how i um go into the go into um the text and and make the name and add the symbol but my cousin called about a she seen a picture of order that she wanted and this is what i'm about to show you right here the i wanted to show y'all the um she she seen the socks that I had made and the shirt, the the um, Louis Vuitton Mini Mouse. So she just called me and we got so bad that the, I forgot I was working and not paying attention and so I skipped that part. So when I realized that, so I said, "Oop, I gotta go back." So I bring it back here so y'all can see. I clicked on the text to show y'all. It's super super easy. You just click on the text. You write whatever it is you want. You could go into anywhere in the free places and download your prints. You can always bring them back to design the space and use them. So, um, I I put that together. I added the Cheryl Foster for the YouTube, the Miss Empress for two for the Instagram, and the Cheryl Foster for the Facebook. And I and I added the um the logos and tags them. So then I wanted to to do this. Follow me at and then so what it is it's a feature that's in um design the space that's called curve where you can curve your letters and things like that and only thing is when you're using that you get it to the size that you want and everything it I want to slice it so what I'm going to do is 
I moved that out my way. So I, I went and grabbed me another square, unlocked it, and I'm just trying to play around with it so I know where I can slice it at. Because I want to slice, I want to give it a two-tone color effect. So I want to do, like, I want the letters to be red and black. So I'm just trying to play with it so I can see exactly where that I want to put the color at. If that makes sense to you. I hope you're following me. So now that I figured it out where I want it, I sliced it. Then I was forgot which one I supposed to delete it. So it didn't matter. I said, you know, it don't matter. I could always make it because one color is like black and the other one is the all black. So I did the top part I made red and then I clicked on the black. And then as you see, put it together. There you have it. And then I um flatten it. So I got one um big thing. Because you definitely have to flatten it or well it so you can well actually flatten it so you have one thing because if you just do a um if you just do attach or whatever, it's not gonna print out or anything. It's gonna be as a basic cut and a basic cut was it would take it to the machine to your cricket machine. But because I wanted to print out the add-ons, I had to flatten it. So it'll give me a print and cut. So you see, we went on to the computer. I mean, the computer, the printer. I sent it to the printer. Now it's printing out. And one thing that I did want to point to y'all guys. Okay. It's, we're doing sublimation. This is an Epson printer 2800. And if you notice on each print, you, you see a black line around the images. A black line around the images, right? You want to make sure you cut around that line. You do not want to press with that line. You see that black line around it? You want to press, press, you want to cut it. And the reason why that line is there is because anytime that you print through designer space, it's going to give you that, that borderline. And the borderline is because when you print a lot of your items, especially your vinyl, it's going to be cut or cut through your Cricut machine. And that gives the Cricut machine a borderline like with into where they're going to cut at. So they don't cut out around that line. I can't really explain, explain it, but that's basically what it is. So you definitely want to cut around that black line. Please, guys, cut around it. I am so serious. Make sure you cut all the way around and do not leave none of that black. Because if you press it, if you don't really cut it good, you will have little black lines somewhere among it. Because it happened to me and I don't want it to happen to you. So please, please, please. We just waiting for the next print. And then we're going to head over. And go to the um press. We're gonna head over and and get ready to press the shirt. We're just waiting for this to um finish printing. This is the last print, guys. Then we're gonna head over to the print. So here we is. All I'm doing right now is prepping the shirt. I'm lint rolling it. Then I'm gonna take the heat press and I'm gonna press it for five seconds to get any moisture out and then I'm just going to line it up I got the parchment paper I'm going to put one in between just in case it bleed because it is a light color and then I'm going to go ahead and press my image I'm going to do two settings because it's a large image I'm going to press the top 400 degrees 
60 seconds. Once it's done, we're going to lift it up and then we're going to press the bottom. As you see the back, the tape, that's where I showed you where you tape the image together. So there you have it. We're going to press and then once it's done, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to repeat the same thing for the back. And the back, I'm just going to add, as you see, the different symbols and logos that I was doing. And um, I just had one um, error mistake that I did make. And that's something that I'm trying to avoid anybody else making. When you're printing, anytime you're printing or not printing, I'm sorry, correct, let me correct it. Anytime you're pressing. So, um, like I said, I'm going to do the same step, put the paper in, the parchment paper in, press it, and then I'm going to add my um image. So, when you're pressing, guys, when you're pressing, this is so important. When you're pressing, please, please, please make sure a lot of people don't take their images down. Because they say it leaves, they don't like, sometimes it leaves the, the resident, the residue of the, from the tape. I really haven't experienced that. Because a lot of times I do use it and you do want to use heat tape. And the reason why I say that is because you don't want your image to move. That's the most important thing. You don't want your image to move. When you're doing it on a press, a, a press machine, you, it's better because... You don't want flat when you're doing a, a hand press, the easy press, you got to lift it when you're doing two press, lift it and then bring it. And you don't want your image to move. And what I did on on my, I made a mistake. I was messing with the collar part. And as you see at the top, you can see it. I was pulling the collar while I was pressing the top part and didn't realize it. It's an app, and I'm like, oh, what are you doing? So I actually moved the print as I was printing, so I kind of messed it up. But it's my shirt, and it was to me, so it's okay. So, but I just want you just to um, bring that to your attention. Yeah, guys, as you see, I just want to bring that part to your attention. So, as you see, I'm pressing, and I did um, double print, as you see from moving the image but at the end of the day it's all good it's okay because it's actually for me and it's not like um it's for somebody else if it was for somebody else it would not be okay i would have to do the whole thing all over again which i still am going to do a whole a brand new one all over again so this one hey is just um error as i always say to you guys error error and try error and try so it came out pretty good, but I I learned also that color that I use for the Instagram is definitely not bright. I mean, definitely not dark enough. It almost blends in with the shirt, so it's kind of hard to see. But at the end of the day, it came out pretty good. I'm okay with it. So I just wanted to um show y'all if that's the front came out pretty good. That's the back, and then. It's cool. So here I just wanted to um print out a small um logo one. I wanted to see how it looked. I used it on some jogger um pants. And I wanna give you a heads up. FYI guys, FYI. When you're using supplementary ink, it bleeds, it bleeds. And what happened is when you use parchment paper, butcher paper, regular copy paper, whatever it is you use. Once you use it, because it bleeds, do not reuse it to press another image. Automatically get rid of it so you don't grab it and use it. And I knew better, but I, I turned around and I reused the part, one of the parchment papers I used for the shirt that had black ink all on it that I really didn't see because sometimes you can't see it. It'd be so light, but it's there. And the littlest ink will carry on to the next item that you're printing, you're pressing. And on these pants that I'm doing, 
you can see that whole area from where I had the um the parchment paper. It had the black ink, which that I used from the shirt, the black and brown ink. So I it, the the image everything came out perfect, but I cannot wear them because I have a whole black lining around it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I just want to do this to show y'all. And like I said, I always do things so y'all don't have to do it. Right? So I hope y'all um enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below to the next video. Yeah.